Wisdom Exchange TV. My name is Suzanne S. Stevens, host and co-producer of Wisdom Exchange TV. Today we're in Ottawa, Canada with Her Excellency Florence Zeno Chidea. She is the ambassador of Zimbabwe in Canada. Now when you got into politics, and you, you may or may not remember this, did you have any preconceived ideas of what that would look like? Maybe I felt that my environment was restrictive and I wanted to say something, I wanted to contribute. In fact, uh, when we were students, I remember that there was a movement here in North America looking for people who were saying, can you explain to us what is wrong with you? what's happening in your country? I remember being invited to go to the studios to explain what the, what the issue was. And we had our leaders, we had gone out into the struggle to, to fight for independence, to talk with the Europeans, especially Britain, and people everywhere in North America, East. And you know, we were like the last two countries on the African continent to be independent. The trade, that experience, is an obvious one as an ambassador. And the tourism, Yes. Which is really a good bonus, I would imagine, having that. Which, you know, for, for listeners, it's important to have, have another background as well, too, to help you yes. uh, leverage in, in that position. I think as a, as a public servant, one can uh, appreciate any role they're put in. And of course, it requires a little bit of background of all those sectors. It does help a lot. For example, if you understand tourism, you can link it with your job. If you understand trade, which has been my background for from 1983 to 1990 and beyond. So you can link your position with those different sectors. The most significant impact that you've had today? Well, I think that as a dean of the African diplomat, I think we have that really met some inroads in terms of uh, the visibility of Africa and Canada. I think that has been quite significant. And, and you know, it's, it's interesting because I feel that, but now I'm very involved with Africa. Yes. But just even reading the newspapers and seeing so much about Africa, and sometimes, you know, unfortunately in the West, we receive the bad stuff. Yes. And Wisdom Exchange has been all the good stuff because. Uh, like women like yourself. Do you find that challenging when, when in a lot of the West, when we hear of Africa, we often are exposed just to the negative thing. So how do you, in your role, deal, deal with that emotionally or uh, from a political standpoint to, to quiet down the negative and bring up what Africa, in particular in Zimbabwe, is doing well? It's been a big challenge really for not only Zimbabwe, but for all of us. But more so for Zimbabwe, as you know, being here, that is our job, to, to make sure we douse those, those fires. And we let people have information as much as we can. And uh, we have, I myself have gone to Zimbabwe with various Canadians, different groups, and uh, just that alone enables somebody to come and speak about the country. Not necessarily myself. It does a lot to educate uh, our, you know, Canadians on what the country is like, and it's not an overnight miracle either. It takes years to turn around the corner to to change people's minds and perceptions. The, the scribes like yourselves, you know, you're, you're quick to have the information out there before checking. A lot of people, of them do that. So by the time you try to say, oh, you know what, things are not exactly the way. It's reported. Uh, now, who's going to look at that? You know, someone has already gone ahead of you. But like I said, uh, that is really our, our job because Africa, you've traveled in 54 countries. It is not 10 countries, 54 countries. In each country, we have the diversity, but there's commonality without diversity, uh, which makes us unique. And you are the biggest continent in the whole world. And with a uh, population you know, close to a billion, the challenges. Yes, then. Great advice. Thank you.